church of the big beard amen yes. a church you can call home where we honor god love families we serve others and we pursue excellence and we have a passion for god and a passion for souls amen Woo, hallelujah that was a mouthful <laughs> bienvenidos a la iglesia nuevo comienzo and we want to welcome all our nbc family we want to welcome all our visitors and we want to welcome all of you that are joining us by audio and video amen Woo. I'm excited. We're going to be talking today by serving him with gladness number two. Amen. So it's the start of a new year. It's the start of a new day each and every day. So let's serve him with gladness. Amen. If we're going to serve him, don't be sad about it. Amen. Amen. Serve him with gladness. Yes, serve him with passion. And be excited. Be enthused about it. Amen. He's, the joy of the Lord is your strength. You need some strength? Well, you got to put some joy on and put a smile on your face, you know. You don't want to run people away with that frown, you know. Get rid of it, you know. When you're full of him, you ain't going to have no more frowns, amen. amen. You're going to have a smile, and that's going to attract people. They want to know, why are you smiling, you know. You know, this world is going to hell. Well, not if you have Jesus, yes, amen. Right. So, you got Jesus to share, amen. We're supposed to be ministers of reconciliation, bringing people to him, amen. Amen. And all of us are called to do this. Amen. Yeah. All of us are called for this. So praise God. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but you know what? Grab your swords and let's make this declaration together. Yeah. Amen. If you don't have one, get you one. Amen. Yeah. This is my sword. Okay. The word of God, the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E says basic construction before leaving earth. Amen. Yeah. We need yeah. to get into it. Amen. Right. So let's make this declaration together. This is my Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. You know, I don't want to be the same. I want to grow from day to day. You know, it's just like climbing. I want to get to the top of that roof. So I'm going to put me a ladder there. And I'm going to climb one step at a time. And i got to go one step at a time. One day at a time. One year at a time. And serve him gladly. With gladness. Amen. But I'm going to have to basically as mature, grow. As we we grow, we go to new levels. Mm -hmm. New levels, new devils. Yeah. All right. And they're always there waiting on you. So we got to say in the word that if we're not prepared, they're going to take you down. Mm -hmm. The enemy says, the Bible says the enemy comes to do what? Steal, kill, kill, kill destroy. destroy. That's all he wants to do. So you can make friends with him. He wants to steal from you. He wants to... Uh, mm -hmm. Steal, kill, and destroy you. Mm -hmm. So you can't make friends with him. Hey, Amen. He was in heaven. Lucifer, <laughs> he got kicked out of heaven because he wanted to put himself over God. Right. And God says, This ain't going to happen. Amen. Hey, so Lucifer and a third of the angels, just, boom, they got uh, just like lightning, mm -hmm. kicked out of heaven quick. Hey, Amen. They were gone. No more. No mas. <laughs> yeah. So praise God. Get yourselves ready. Prepare yourselves. Because God wants to use you. Amen. He didn't put you here to lose. He put you here to win. Amen. And he wants to use you. Don't let nobody, these dream killers, you know, these oh, people yeah. we talked about last week. Yeah, yeah. They want to stop you. You know, they give up on their dream. Mm -hmm. So he wants you to give up on oh, your yeah. dream. Yeah. But no, you know, hey, you got to stay connected to the That's source. It. You got to stay it. connected to the power. And you got to have that power to su survive. Amen. That's if it. you don't have that, you ain't going anywhere. You're just going to be nice and comfy and just live like the world does, you know. And guess what? Hey, when it's over, we just go to hell. No, we don't want to do that. He didn't put you here to lose. He put you here to win. Be victorious in him every day. Man, I have victory in Jesus each and every day. Amen. Woo! Serve and gladness. Amen. I've got a... <clears throat> Thank you. Well, whoo! Hallelujah. Happy, happy, happy New Year. We're just in the second week of uh, uh, a new year. <laughs> it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart yes. and lean out in your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him uh -huh. and He will make your path straight. Yeah. Amen. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Go in your Proverbs. Go in, your, go in the Bible and find yes. it and highlight it. Amen. Yes. And He says, trust in the Lord with all your all heart, your Jose. Heart. Amen. Mm -hmm. And lean out in your own understanding. In all your ways, no. Submit to him, and he will make your path straight. He will make Jose's path straight. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you're in him, when you're in the word, 
no matter what distractions are coming against you and they're going to come oh yeah but you're going to stay focused that's it amen and you're going to stay focused man my gps is set from point a to point b mm -hmm. and from this earth to heaven mm -hmm. and that's it you know any other things you know hey i'm going to stay focused i'm going to yes. do and the bible says i can do all things yes. through christ who strengthens me amen yes. well let me read you this uh quick uh scripture right and listen it is stand strong in him mm -hmm. stand when you've done all the all the sand stand that's ephesians 6 amen yes uh 13 and 14 but he says when you've done all the stand stand amen but stand strong in him as we open up the new year we face new challenges and new difficult times. Yes. God doesn't send these storms, but in its time of difficulty, we can grow and become stronger. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can become stronger. You know yes. why? Because we're feeding on him. We're yes. feeding on the word and we're yes. spending time with him and we can do all things through all Christ. Things. Mm -hmm. But in the time, well, let me see. It is an opportunity to allow God's word to come alive in our lives. Mm -hmm. Amen. And see us through the victory. Oh, Amen. Yes, yes. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. God is with me. He said he never leaves me nor forsakes me. He's it. with me. That's Amen. It. So not be afraid. You know why David was not afraid of Goliath, these giants that are coming against mm -hmm. you? It's because he knew his God. Yes, yes. When you know your God, it doesn't matter what giants are coming against you. Right. Amen. It doesn't matter what the enemy is bringing against you. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm going to press on. Amen. I'm going to press on. Since we're being faithful during these times of adversity, you magnify and continue to magnify Him and not the problem. Yes. You know, sometimes we get our eyes off of God and we see the problem and we see the trouble and we start magnifying our problems and our troubles instead of magnifying Him. Yes. We just reversed it. No, stay focused and magnify yeah. him. Say, so, wait a minute, this is nothing compared to my God. Serve him no matter what comes against you. Yeah. God will honor you. Fight, uh, fight the good fight of faith. Oh, yeah. You are growing, you are maturing. Remain faithful. In God's appointed time, he will promote you to new levels of victory. Yeah. And you will live that abundant life that he has promised you. A right. time that you might have life and have it more abundantly. abundantly. Amen. Listen to this. You are blessed to be a blessing. Amen. Amen. You're blessed to be a blessing for him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He just don't want to bless you so you can just hoard it all and take it all for you. <laughs> he yeah. blesses you so that yes. you can be, can a, be blessing. a blessing. He teaches us how to give. For yeah. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And Jesus came and he gave himself. He was crucified. He was uh, sacrificed. Yes. Amen. So now we need to do the same thing. We need to give. You know, we can't out give God. You know, if you give, the Bible says, it'll be given back to you. Mm -hmm. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together. Not just one for one, but you can't out give him. Amen. That's it. But you learn to give, not just hold on to this. You know, when you release it and give it, God's going to multiply it back to you. Amen? Amen. So praise God. Amen. And I have a couple of scriptures for you. It's Matthew 6, 33 says, But seek first the kingdom of God, his yes. righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. Of course, we already quoted uh, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he gave. He sacrificed the only begotten son. Amen. That whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal or everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And John 10, 10 says, um, the thief, the enemy, the diablo, whatever you want to call him, the enemy, your only enemy is not your brother, not your right. sister, is not that person you don't get along with. No, come on now. It says the thief, the devil comes, to, but to steal, he, he cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Jesus says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Yes. Not just barely making it. That's it. Just That's more it. abundantly. That's it. But you know, we got to stay faithful uh -huh. in Him. We got to stay faithful and serve Him with gladness and with passion. That's what we're going to find yes. out today. Amen. Yeah. So, <laughs> serve Him with gladness. Leaving the past behind. Mm. Remember, <laughs> the past is gone. Leave it there. You're not a prisoner. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Amen. Let it go. It's gone. Amen. Open a new year 
2024 with a big bang. Amen. Man, you, you ever see New York where they celebrate? Man, oh. it, the world just celebrates all kinds of stuff, you know. What about believers? Mm -hmm. We should, man, this is a new year with the Lord. Serve Him with gladness. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Open it with a bang, mm -hmm. with gladness, yes. rejoicing, excitement, enthusiasm, mm -hmm. with joy. You know, hey, we was crazy for the world. Oh, Why can't yeah. we be crazy oh. for Jesus? Amen. Amen. He just kind of turned that around. Yes. Said, you crazy for, for for God? You crazy? Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. I was crazy when I was in the world, uh -huh. serving the world. Come on down. Man, and I didn't care, man. I was jumping, hopping uh, tables at the bar, man. I was hopping, jumping tables wherever, you know, just putting on a show for people. <laughs> but I'm not a people oh, pleaser. I'm a God pleaser now. Amen. 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 So if I was crazy for the world, I'm gonna be crazy for God. Amen. Amen. Or and, and show him, you know. He yeah. says, if you're embarrassed of me. He says, I'll be embarrassed of you. Mm. Amen. I'll be ashamed of you, he says. Mm. Amen. So our first uh, scripture we talked about was Psalms 100 and uh, verse 2. Psalm 100 verse 2 says, serve the Lord with gladness. You know what? Let's open it and let's read the whole thing. <laughs> it's only five scriptures or five verses. I hope I can find it. Psalm 100. How come I, I can't find it? <laughs> all right. Well, you ready? We're ready. Okay, here we go. It says, it says, a song of praise and joy. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what mine starts up with. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Or you could just say, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, Jose. Mm -hmm. Put your name there. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's not just for somebody else. Yes. Well, they don't know what I'm going through. No. Yeah, you don't know what's coming against me. Mm. Amen. Immediately we make a, a re, excuses. Let's yes. get rid of the excuses. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus could have used a lot of excuses not to go to be mm -hmm. crucified. He could have just told the dad, you say, I don't want to go. Mm. I don't want to be sacrificed. Mm. And everything would have been different. Mm -hmm. Verse 2 says, serve the Lord with sadness. Gladness. Gladness. Oh, yeah. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come, Come before His presence Come with singing. singing. Yes. Amen. Woo. Man, you know what? When we was in the world, we would just sing. It don't matter <laughs> what we sounded like. Yes. We just yes. made a mess of ourselves. Yeah, we and did. we sang no matter what. Mm -hmm. We just trying to impress the world. Mm -hmm. We trying to impress her. Mm -hmm. You know how good I sing, man. <laughs> <laughs> it says, no, He is the Lord. He is God. It is He yes. that made us, and now we ourselves. Yes. He made us. Mm -hmm. So let's remember Matthew 6, 33. Seek him first. Amen. Mm -hmm. It says, We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah, man. You can read that every day. Man, read it until you just got it in you. When you get the word in you, you know, it's going to come out. Yes, yes. And that's what we're supposed to do anyway. We get yes. it, we find a scripture and read it mm -hmm. and, and get it in you. Get it in you. So when you need it, it's going to come out. That's it. That's so it. praise God, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers. of living water. Amen. The word is going to come out. And you know what? The word is okay. It's yeah. up, you read it and you got it in you. Mm -hmm. But it's going to accomplish yes. what it's supposed Amen. to accomplish that's when it. you release it. That's and it. goes out and so see. Amen. So, whoo, hallelujah. That's Don't just God. keep it inside. Well, I could have said this. Well, why didn't you? Because you was embarrassed to say, hey, he's one of them. Oh, yeah. Ah, we didn't want you didn't want to give yourself up. You know, he's one of them. Yes. You could have said, and the Lord said, Well, something was telling me to say this. Uh. There's something is the Holy Ghost. Yes. There's something is Lord oh. telling you, says, say. Say this. Yeah, mm -hmm. Oh, no, no. I, you know, I just zipped the lip because I didn't want everybody to know uh -uh. I'm a believer. I'm a mm -hmm. Christian. You yeah. know, I, 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 I can't go on and put on a show like I used to. Okay? <laughs> let's let's stop all that mess. Oh, you know? The buck stops here. God stops here, you know. <laughs> so, and then uh, Psalms uh, 118, 24. Uh-huh. This is the day. This is the year, the new yes. year that Lord has made. Uh -huh. It says, 
we some translation says we some say i will rejoice and be glad in it mm -hmm. don't exclude yourself That's include it. yourself you know when you got the truth in you the bible says the truth is going to set you free so yeah. you, you don't have to be we don't have to be held back anymore That's it. That's it. if i'm a god pleaser i'm going to say it this is what the word of god says and i'm going to say it amen just like they can cuss you anywhere you go you hear all these cuss words amen and they don't apologize no they don't they just say what they want to say and just what whatever they want to come out of their mouth yeah yeah well as a child of god i can control myself you know what yeah. i can tell you this before i came to christ i knew all the words all the bad words and i still know them and i can still say them if i choose to but i put a guard on my mouth and i don't say those anymore they can come to the tip but that's not christ like that's not what god told me to tell you god says he loves you amen and god wanted me to tell you this i wanted to tell you this but god wants me to tell you this <laughs> who was uh what prayed for uh saul hmm? He says, go lay hands on Saul. Oh. He says, I want them scales to come off. I want him to see oh. again. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Forgive me. The guy that they sent. The the yeah, he said, he said, he said go, go pray Peter. for Saul. Huh? Nah. Peter? No, no, no. Ananias. No. no. Ananias. 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 Ananias, he told him, he said, hey, you go uh, pray for Saul. Uh -huh. He says, he's been laid up over there. He's yeah. been praying. <laughs> and I want you to go lay hands on him. He said, "Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. You know what? what Saul, you know what Saul is doing? Yeah. He's going around killing people like me, Christians. Uh. And you want me to go do this? Mm. You know, he, Jesus could have said the same thing to his father when his father says, you know, I want you to go to the world. Mm -hmm. I want my people back, and I'm going to have to sacrifice you. Are you kidding, Dad? I don't want to go. Mm. <laughs> no, that's just me." <laughs> but it, he, he went anyway yes he did he was obedient he waited and prayed for him and then the scales come off yes. and you know he was a new man it's a new year it's a new yes. man Amen. the scales come off and yes. not only that he says you're a new creature in Christ yes. you're a new man in Christ just yes. like yes. 2 Corinthians 5 17 says the old is gone the new is in you even got a new name yeah. and the yes. name is Paul mm -hmm. amen instead yes. of Saul amen he, he, he had a total change when you're a new yes, creature in Christ you know when you when you receive him as your Lord and Savior you're totally new the old is all gone the new is in I had a spiritual rebirth yes. amen you, you still see the same me <laughs> mm -hmm. but inside that was a new birth mm -hmm. yes. I'm, a new, I'm a new person yes. so mm -hmm. let's remember that Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. I'm excited. I'm about you. <laughs> says rejoice and be yes. glad in it. it not, not just every January 1st or New Year, mm -hmm. but every day. Every day. This yeah. is the day. You know, and yes. as long as you're on this world, as long as you're in this earth. In this earth. Mm -hmm. If he wakes you up, that's your first miracle each and yeah. every day. He woke me up. He gave me a wake-up call. Mm -hmm. I woke up. And man, thank you, Lord, for waking thank me Lord. up. That's it. Now I'm gonna, I can serve you gladly each and every day. Amen. Yes. Amen. And I can, I'm gonna rejoice and be glad in, yes. in, in serving you. Amen. Thank you, Woo, hallelujah. I don't know about you. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. It sounds like I'm excited now. <laughs> <laughs> what is your passion level this new year? Yeah. Listen, hot, cold, or lukewarm. The choice is yours. Yes, it is. It's your choice. Amen. But if it's cold, I work on getting it hot. If oh, it's yeah. lukewarm, let it go. Let it go. Amen. And get the yeah. hot. Amen. Yeah. So <laughs> you gotta take that little flame that's still in there and yeah. and, and get more of the word in you uh -huh. and make that flame big and yeah. get hot for God. Amen. Amen. You gotta get hot for God. Nobody can do yes. it for you that's except it. yourself. That's it. Amen. And man, we get hot in the world, man. We stay up with all the new things. Amen. Amen. This is what's going on right now. This is what's happening right now. And we stay hot in the gossip world. <laughs> but as far as the gospel world, we're cold. We ain't going anywhere. 
Amen. You know, because you ain't got no spiritual fuel. <laughs> you got to get that spiritual fuel going. You got to get that flame going. Amen. Nobody can do it right. for yes. you but yourself. You got to get yourself excited for God. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done for me. Look what you've done for me. Yes. Amen. I was going to hell. Mm -hmm. And he took me out of hell. And now I'm going to live for you. Amen. 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 So listen, it'd be high. You you could be high for him or you could be low. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to be lukewarm. That's it. You know, <laughs> he hates that word, lukewarm. He says, uh, he, he will, he will uh, spit you out. He will spew you out. He will vomit you out. So let's not try to be people pleasers. Let's not be world pleasers. Let's be God pleasers. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Serving him and giving it all to Jesus. We talked about committing, surrendering totally to him. Right. Amen. He don't want no stepchildren. That's it. That's he want full custody that's of it. you. No. Amen. That's not just on Sundays. Mm -hmm. not, not just once a week. But every day of the week. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says, let go, let God. Amen. Yes, walk yes. the walk and talk the talk. Amen. Yes, yes. And you can come and talk all you want, you know, mm -hmm. but you got to go out and walk the walk. Mm -hmm. Amen. Watch your words, watch your actions. Because yes. the world is watching. Amen. Yes. And you're going to attract the good or the bad. Well, the bad is always want to jump on, mm -hmm. you know, but you got to remember who you are and yes. who you are in Him. Amen. Amen. Ooh, amen. 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 <laughs> watch your words, watch your actions, and listen, make yourself available. Yes. Lord, here am I. You woke me up. Now I'm ready to go. I'm available for you to use me. Mm -hmm. Amen. And guess what? He's going to use you. Mm -hmm. Don't exclude yourself. Include yeah. yourself. Amen. I want hey, if I'm on the, God's team. Guess what? I want to play. Yeah. Hey, if you're if you're on the team, you want to play. You don't want to sit the bench and write the bench all the time. Yeah. You want to get involved. You want to get in. You know. And yeah. Jesus, your coach, <laughs> he says, "Come on. Hey, I'm ready. Be ready. Stay ready. And you're in the military all the time. I serve. We stay battle ready because mm. you don't know when yeah. things is going to happen." Well, you don't know what's going to happen, but still, we stay better ready, ready all the time. Yeah. Every time. Amen. Woo. Mark 20 and 30 says this, And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. Romans 12 and 11 says this, Not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. And uh, Romans 12 and 11 on the New Living Translation says, Never be lazy. But work hard and serve the Lord with enthusiasm. Yes. Amen. Be excited. Be eagerly. Be actively eagerly in serving Him. Amen. Ooh, Hallelujah. That's a, that's a lot. So here we go. Getting rid of all the passion killers. What's the passion killer? Well, you know, if you're full of passion for the world, you're going to show it. Mm -hmm. And the world's going to see it. Man, he's, she, he, he's always... Have passion, you know, to go out and do whatever they do. Yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah. We got to get rid of these things, these distractions that rob us yeah. of our joy. Absolutely. Amen. They want to take the drive away. Amen. They want to cool you off. Amen. They want to steal this. Uh, keep going, come. Well, start the new year. We talked about S is for stop. All distractions. T is for take inventory of my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do I need to do, Lord? Show me what I need to do. Uh, a is for act in faith. Mm -hmm. R is for renewing my mind each and every, not just each and every day, but as often as mm -hmm. needed yes. every, day, every day. Sometimes we got, <laughs> you go into areas, you know, that are worse than other areas. Oh, yeah. And you see and you hear and you read stuff, you know, and say, man, I got to renew my mind. Mm -hmm. This stuff and the battlefield of the mind is going on all the time mm -hmm. and you're thinking these things yes. amen and, and the enemy wants to come in and mm -hmm. steal kill and destroy and take your time and rob you know so you got to be ready to renew your mind as often as needed amen and it's okay yeah. it doesn't say how many times just as often as needed right. and T is to just trust in him have faith in him amen the Bible says Without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Yes, so, 
Let's have faith in Him. Amen. Let's trust in Him. So, praise God. Thank you. Keep going. <laughs> this, you can even write this down. It says, don't let someone who gave up on their dream talk you out of yours. Oh, yeah. Because sure. they're going to do this. Yes, quick. they are. Quick, quick, quick. They're yeah. going to say, hey, you know what? <laughs> You're going the wrong way. I used to do that and never worked for me. Amen. Uh -huh. So, don't let this happen to you. Keep going. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We talked about this. Be a new creature in Christ. The old is gone, or passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Amen. So see yourself. Hey, I'm starting a new day. I'm a new creature in Christ. The old Amen. is gone. Yesterday's gone. Let it go. Keep going. Absolutely. Yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm. God has great plans for you. Big plans. To give you a future and a hope. Yeah. Okay, he's got great plans for you. And that's uh, Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. Does it say? 29 11 29 11 he's got great plans for you God has great plans for what's it say you do so you scratch you off and put your name there he's got great plans for you I don't care what the world says I don't care who says what or brother holy or sister holy so and so says God can't use you anymore is that right is that scriptural is that scriptural no that's not scriptural. He says if you confess, mm -hmm. he'll forgive and forget. Yes. So don't let somebody that gave up on their dreams take your dream. Mm -hmm. Amen. So listen, don't let somebody that gave up on their dreams mm -hmm. come and try to tell you that God can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen. God has great plans for you. And Amen. none of them Amen. include defeat. We're on God's winning team. Mm -hmm. And God's team wins all the time. All the time. Amen. So see yourself that way. You're a winner Amen. and not a loser. Amen. You're a champion for God yes. and not a loser. Amen. Not a You're loser. an overcomer. Mm -hmm. You can come over overcome all these things. Yes. Amen. Keep going. Woo. Man, I'm happy already. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Be aware of false prophets. Uh, here, here's a picture of them. Keep going. There we go. Be aware of wolves in sheep's clothing. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll try to be nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. But you know, you'll know them. You know, you got to be know the word. Mm -hmm. So when they start speaking, mm -hmm. they're going to say yes. things that yes. totally against what the word of God says. Yeah. Well, I yeah. said, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, that's not right. That's not scriptural. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you know the truth now, and it's going to set you free from all this negative stuff yes. and all this lying stuff. Yes. I say, man, you ain't nothing but a wolf in sheep's clothes. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, beware, yeah. you know. Hey, I can, you can call yourself a Christian, but what's coming out of you uh -huh. is not godly. Right. It's yeah. not scriptural. That's it. So you need to get yourself saved. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. You need to get yourself saved because you, <laughs> you could you could stand in the garage and call yourself a car, but you ain't no car. You ain't no car. <laughs> you can come to church and play church, you know, and call yourself a Christian. But right now, your words and your actions, they ain't jiving. They're not lining up. <laughs> They're not lining up. This is, you got something not right here. And the problem's not with him. The problem is here. We got to get this right. So yes. we can start saying the right things. Amen. Say it basically say it is uh, confessing the word of God. Yes. He wants to confess the word, not yes. my opinion. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Keep going. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> there we go. You can write these down. It says beware of uh, these uh, killers. Oh God. Dream killers. You oh, got yes. a dream? Well, you go just go tell somebody. And they're going to say, oh, man, I tried that. Don't do it, man. Just give it up. Give it up. It ain't going to work. They're going to talk you out of it. Don't give it up. If God gave it to you, why are you going to let some man or woman or person just tell you you can't do it? And just you're going to give up on it. No. Don't let them steal, kill, and destroy you. Amen. Uh, uh, beware of these uh, passion killers. Man, you're excited for God. And somebody's just going to try to put some cold water over you and just say man you got toned down man yeah. we didn't tone down for the world now we're hard for god amen <laughs> and don't give up man because they want to steal your passion amen mm -hmm. don't give it up man i got some passion for some uh 
some tacos after this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you <laughs> 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 Hi, somebody listening? No. It's time for somebody to take Pastor out to lunch. No. <laughs> Pass me down no. some tacos. <laughs> oh, gosh. God's got you on a mission. Guess what they want to do? Lord, I mean, the devil's going to see to it that your mission is terminated. They say, man, maybe tomorrow, you know, hey, you know, once a, once a, once a month, you know, uh, get excited for God, you know, but not all the time, man. That's, cra that's crazy, man. You know, motivation. We know, hey, I'm motivated. <laughs> Our time killers, time killers. Oh yeah, they know everywhere. They they want yes. your time, and the enemy, yeah. of course, steal, kill, destroy. He wants to take all your time away. Why? So we won't have time. Hey, listen, I was supposed to pray this morning, and I got so in a hurry. Uh -huh. I didn't have time, so you know what? I'll pray at noon at noon time. Mm -hmm. At noon time, I'm so I'm so I'm such a rush because I have a quick lunch, and you know what? I'll do it tonight before I go to bed. And by time, uh, evening time comes, mm -hmm. and I'm so tired, man. I just fall yes, asleep. Yes, I never asleep. make time for God. Mm -hmm. Amen. He made time from heaven to come yes, and be sacrificed. Yes, Amen. Yes. And go through all that humility He went through. But we don't have time for him. Mm. When you're in love with your God, you'll make time. Amen. 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 And serve him with gladness and with passion. The passion of the yes. Christ, man. The passion of Christ. Mm. We got to have that passion to keep on going each Amen. and every day. Regardless of who spits on you or what rage is coming against you mm. or who's coming against you. It's just a man, I got the passion of Christ in me. I got the love and the compassion of God in yes, me. Man, yes. I'm going to keep pressing on and see him with that love and that compassion. Yes. Agape love. Yes. Amen. Unconditional love. Unconditional. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. You know what? What you all need is who messed with my Jesus glasses, man. <laughs> it's a new year. Wear your Jesus glasses yeah. every day, no matter where you go. Man, yeah. I can't leave without my Jesus glasses. Amen. Amen. His love, his compassion. Yes. So you can see people the way he sees them. Yes. With his love and his compassion. Yes. You know? Hey, it's not about me anymore. It's about him. Yes. I'm serving this. He's using me. Amen. Yes. I'm serving him. So that's Colossians uh, 3, 23 and 24. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do it, if you're going to serve him, serve it. Serve as, oh, a, as, as, as you're serving him. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I lost where I was. Get rid of passion killers, distractions, yes. <laughs> things, distractions that stop us from fulfilling what God has called us yes. to do. Who called you to do this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He, did. he did. For God so loved the world, he sent oh, Jesus. Well. And it says, if you're a new creature in Christ, old is gone, the new is in. That's it. So now you're a new creature in Christ. And I'm a minister of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. I'm his ambassador, his mouthpiece on yes. earth. And wherever I go, wherever I go, go into all the world, amen, and preach the gospel preach to every creature. Yes. Your, your world is right here, wherever you work, wherever you live, wherever right. you shop. Amen. That's yeah. your world right there. So don't say, well, you know, I don't want to go overseas. No, you can just be right here. You can't be, if you can't do it here, you ain't going to do it over there. Amen. Trust me, you won't. Don't let someone who gave up on their dream talk you out of yours. Be careful who you pour yourself out to. Oh, yeah. You just don't hear. <laughs> and especially if I'm in the bar <laughs> and I'm going to dump on somebody that's got bigger problems than I do. Oh, my gosh. You know, that ain't, that ain't going to help you. Mm -hmm. Amen. We must learn to stay stirred up yes. and refire. Your passion for God. Yes. Each and every day. Every day. Not just once a year. That's it. Amen. But each and every day. Yes. It says, Christians never retire. That's it. it. Says, believers, we retire from jobs. We retire from careers. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we never retire from serving God. That's it. That's it. From the time you're born to the time mm -hmm. that you have knowledge that you know, mm -hmm. <clears throat> until the time He calls us home. We're serving Him. Yes. Amen. We're serving Him. And we don't retire. We just press on. 
We just press on. That it says Christians never retire. They refire, they rekindle, they ignite, and they light. They stir yeah. up, they awaken, they uh, kindle, and they inspire. Amen. They encourage. Amen. Yeah. They renew. That means they, they restart and they return mm -hmm. to press on. Amen. I'm returning back to pressing on with him. Hey, yeah. I was down and out. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I chose to get up. Yes. Anybody can fall. Oh, yeah. But the thing about it is, when are you going to get up? When are you going to get and up? And when you get up, say, Lord, mm -hmm. the prodigal son says, you know what? I can do better at Father's house. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, you don't have to stay down and out. You can say, Lord, I need you. He says, come on. Get up. Get up. And then what he tell that lame man, the blind man, he says, get up. Take your mattress with you and go. And he got up. And you know what? He just pressed and did what God told him to do. And everybody is just, huh? They were amazed. What Jesus just told him to do, he did. And he yes. went. Well, he's telling you to get up and go. Yeah. He didn't say, you know what? You got to get up. I can't use you anymore because you messed up. No, no. You know, or you got to sit, you know, for so so long <laughs> before I can use you and trust you again. <laughs> no. no, he says, get up and go. Sure. Amen. Amen. Get up and press oh, on. Right. It's yes. time to repent, not, go. Not, uh, <laughs> repent you know, confess, <laughs> repent, and press mm -hmm. on. Don't be held back anymore. You're holding yourself down. Mm -hmm. You're holding yourself down. Mm -hmm. Says, accept your past without regrets. Yes. Handle. Held your handle. <laughs> okay, handle your presence with confidence. Mm -hmm. And face your future with without fears. fears. Hey, Remember, yeah. fears is false evidence appearing mm -hmm. real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And but faith. We step out in faith. The just are going to live by, by faith, faith and walk out in faith. Yeah. Amen. See, when you have, when you're full of God, you can't help but step out in faith. That's it. That's it. When you're full of Him, you're going to step out in faith, and the fear is to have to go. Submit yeah. yourself to God, resist the enemy, and He'll go. He's got to go. All this has to go. Yes. They, 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 they can't decide to say, "Well, you know, I'm going to say no. You ain't going to stay. <laughs> you're going to go." Because yeah. the Bible, this is what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. And I'm confessing the Word. And Amen. he's got to be obedient to the Word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Keep going. Woo. I love these. Where'd you get these from? <laughs> <laughs> God can bring you peace to your past, purpose to your present, and hope to your future. Amen. John 14, 27. Amen. Amen. Man, you need to have these. These are good. Amen. Yes. And if you can't write them down, you know, just grab your cell and copy them. <laughs> or see me afterwards and we'll, we'll go over him. But believers, we must stop. Some of us have stopped serving him. We must stop playing church. We must stop because the government says so. Ah. Amen. It's coming to that. Ah. When they say you can't assemble yourselves any longer. Mm -hmm. Remember this. Mm -hmm. You got to be ready. Stop because COVID says Stop, no. and we can't no. assemble ourselves anymore. No. Uh huh. It's destroyed many of us. It's destroyed many. Mm -hmm. Enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. One way to stop believers. Mm -hmm. If not grounded, anything can stop you. Yeah. And change your mind yeah. and your ways. And your way. That's it. Amen. But wait a minute. This is not scriptural. This is not what the Word of God says, mm -hmm. or the Word of God tells me about this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to put up with that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to stop. Mm. They beat Paul and Silas and put them down in the dungeon and says, you can't yeah. serve God anymore and you can't go around saying those things. Mm. And they didn't have a pity party. They had a singing party. Yeah. <laughs> they had a praise. <laughs> praise and worship. They had a praise and worship party, man. No, they started yeah. praising God. Yeah. And, and guess what? He shows up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. He, if you're going to praise him and he's going to show up, who else can make it better? That's it. Thank you, Lord, for coming. Thank you for yes. showing up. Yes. That's it. Amen. The world has left you. The friends have left you. Oh, yeah. Everybody's <laughs> giving up they on you. They will leave you. <laughs> but he still, he just showed up. He says he never leaves you, no forsake you. That's it. He shows up. Mm -hmm. Amen. If God is for you, who can be against you? Who can you? be against you? <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Stop using excuses. Uh-huh. Hey. 
this is the best one. Mm. I worked all week, and the weekends are for me the oh, best. My. So that means no church. <laughs> all right. Stop using him like we do a spare tire. Oh my gosh. And what is that? Mm. Remember him only on emergencies. Mm. Hey, when I'm down and out. Mm. Hey, Lord, remember me. Mm. We only need him. Be there when I call you. Mm. Amen. When I call you, you'll be there. Mm. When he's calling us mm. and he's tapping and knocking, yeah, yeah. we're not answering. Mm -mm. See your call ID. Where's my phone? Oh, it's oh, yeah. Jesus again. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Hallelujah. So quit giving them that uh, spare uh -huh. time treatment, you know. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. So thank you, Lord. Man, this is this is a, this is a blessing. Yeah. It's a very church. This church is a healing place for all. A spiritual, mental, a physical. Amen. It says church is healing place. We all meet at. Don't yes. leave here like you came. That's Give it all to him. Sunday after Sunday, day after day, year after year. We're still yeah. carrying uh all these cares and all these hurts and all this hate and all this jealousy if you're going to cast it on him like he says leave it there yeah. insanity is this doing mm. the same thing oh, or carrying the oh, same hurt yeah. over and over day after day year after year and expecting different results yes, yeah. that's it, that's it. That's you're as bad as that other <laughs> hamster on that little wheel man he's going uh -huh. fast and that thing is moving but yeah. he's still in the same place mm -hmm. So if you're going to be insane and do the same thing over and over and repeat the same thing over and over, but you're expecting different results. Mm. No, let's not be that way. Mm -hmm. That's a trick of the enemy. That's it. That's you got to give it up. So obey his commands, yeah. confess, release it, yes. and be healed. Don't accept the devil's lies and hold back no more. That's Change it. and press on. Go for God. Serve him gladly and yes. rejoice. Amen. Go, excuse me, grow Go serve him with gladness and with passion. Amen. Amen. So, praise God. We're going to, let me see one more. Here we go. Oh, you, need, you need this. If you are depressed. I'm not going to say no names. Oh. You say, if you're depressed, you're living in the past. If you're anxious, you are living in the future. Oh. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. Yes. Have the peace of God be with you. Amen. Mm -hmm. We used to say that all the time. Peace of God be with you. Yes. Amen. I receive it. And I'm yes. going to have peace everywhere I go. And yes. I'm going to pass it on to somebody else. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise God. So death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm. And they that love it will eat its fruit. I'm going to say this. In the Amplified, it says death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it and indulge in it mm. will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of their words. Mm. The spoken words. And the... Uh, God word translation says this mm -hmm. the tongue has the power of life and death and those who love to talk will have to eat their own words oh, they'll have to eat their own words yeah. it didn't talk about the person you <laughs> was giving it to mm. it talks about mm. who was speaking it mm. it's going to come back to mm. you you're sowing this seed in yourself in mm. your life and I'm not saying that anymore that's why I'm so careful death and life are in the power of the tongue mm. the words you speak mm. So let's not do that anymore. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. It says Praise Matthew 27, 28, uh, excuse me, 12, uh, 12, 37 says, For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. it says your words, not someone else's words, yeah. but your words. And in closing, Amen. <laughs> We said this a few minutes ago, but I'll give you a scripture for it now. It says, John, uh, John 7, 20, uh, 38, King James says, He that believeth in me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of holy water. The word is alive. It's not dead. The word is alive. Amen. So when you speak, you're speaking lively words. Amen. Mm -hmm. So let's remember that. And man, you know what? Man, we got enough here for... Serve him gladly for number three. Yeah, praise God. <laughs> but uh, we'll see what God wants. Amen. Amen. So praise God. And in closing, Amen. I just want you to, to be uh, a God pleaser mm -hmm. and not a people pleaser. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God's calling you today to gladly and passionately be, be a follower of His this new year. And daily. Amen. Be a God pleaser. Amen. Amen. Uh, serving gladly and passionately. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that. It says, Church, we must not lose our passion for Him and doing what He has called us to do. Mm -hmm. And He's called us to do something. Mm -hmm. He's put it, he, We've got a mission to do mm -hmm. for Him. Amen. So let, let's remember that. And in closing, some of you, those of you there, you just started a new year. So why not start a new year with Him? Yes, All you need to do is say, Lord, Amen. I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. I want to serve you each and every day. Mm -hmm. I want to serve you this new year. And yes. He wants to wants you to get up and press on and be there for Him. Amen. Amen. But you got to get to a Bible-based church, you know, where they're teaching the Word of God. Amen. And you need to get into the Word and get this Word in you. Amen. Yes. I mean, get the world out and get the, get the Word in. Amen. Yes. So that you can be there for him mm -hmm. and be available to him. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. If you have sickness in your body, all you need to do is confess what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. By his stripes, I'm healed. Yes. So I speak to my body. Yes. No malfunctions. Yes. Each and everything yes. functioning and performing the way he created the function. Yes. Amen. So praise God. I confess healing over my body yes. in Jesus' precious name. And everybody said, Amen. 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 So it's time to give. If you go to our website, it should be on the screen there for you, nbcbigben.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it in, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And now you can do Cash App, New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. God yeah. bless you. God loves you. And we love you. Amen. So let's remember this. Serve Him gladly with passion. Praise God. Amen.